I'm Michael Imke and today we have a tutorial regarding the output functions, the documentation within Dialogs Evo. It is on how to prepare a nice and useful documentation. Let us assume that the views, plans and ray tracings are already done. For those who need a hint on that, ray tracings can be triggered when you click on the ball sitting on a mirror. Watch the last videos for more details. Everything that you see here on your screen may be a perspective or a floor plan can be captured by clicking on this icon. So, once you have collected all the material you need for the presentation, including all calculation surfaces and points being properly placed before, you may advance to the documentation. There are two different ways to go. The quick one is by using just the first predefined output or you go all the way and make an individual configuration. Before I show you both options, I would like to introduce you to the tools on the left side. It's enough to move over an icon without clicking to see an explanation of the function. At the top, you select the outputs. Below, we define the printer. At third place, we may insert project information. And at the bottom, we may configure templates. Let's look at the project information first. There is the name of the project and the date when it was designed by you. The field for descriptive text is nearly unlimited. I mean, may insert a text using copy and paste. It is often used to include either a description or a legal statement regarding copyrights. Below, you can insert the customer and yourself as responsible contact person for that project. Please do not forget to insert the values into the address book. A returning client or a returning user can then be inserted by using the address book if you use the select function. Now it is time to turn you the attention to the output itself. At the top, you can always find three flags, three variants for your output. They may be used simultaneously. So you're working on one project, but you will have one output for the design-oriented client, for example. One for the installation company. and one for the calculating person. You should be able to find an applicable template that suits each of the three parties. You see how different the outputs are. And of course, you can configure individual templates for your company as well. Everything you need for this is to be found there below the fourth button on the left side. We will now be editing one of these templates and creating a new template, by the way, works quite the same way. Let us individualize the output views for this project. I click edit and the list of available pages is now quite large. Everything flagged, like it is here, will then be included. After selecting the pages that are to be printed, I may define their content. First, I choose the project cover, the table of content, the project description and some more pages below. 
if you have a look at the list, you will be finding the word views here, there, and in several other places. This giving you the option to insert pictures, plans in different positions, in different contexts, for example. For our example, I will be activating these luminaires here and also the results for visual task area 1, including the false colors. A second click on edit marks the end of the editing process. The list has changed according to my choice. We may take a quick look at the pages in general. On many pages you can see options and you may resize it as well. On the cover page you can see already where the description text goes that we have been inserting a minute or two ago. Here are the options that you have on all pages that may include images. You can also that images include plans. It may also contain a photo of the building site. A selection is made just by flagging the picture of your choice. By the way, if the pictures are too small and tiny, you can use the zoom function at the bottom. Every change here has to be confirmed by clicking this button before it's going to be displayed. We will be covering details of the configuration of each page at a later date. The table of content will be generated automatically when you feel ready to print the pages. Project description includes the full descriptive text that we insert on a page of its own. Luminaire data sheets have options as well. The user of Dialogs Evo can define which of those diagrams shall be printed. You can see the diagrams on the following pages. These will always be in addition to the picture and the descriptive text provided by the manufacturer. On all of the use pages, you also may combine plans and pictures. The result pages have predefined settings that cannot be modified. False colors and isolines may be modified, deleted or added, or be changed in color. Now that all pages are in line with the demand of my client, I can move on to the printing itself. There's only one function, save as PDF. If I do that immediately, then I will have only one single page, the current page. Let me do some adjustments first. Do I have the logo? On all of my pages, the logo may be inserted using the browse function. Do I have the name at the footer text here? What about paper? Here and printer there. The paper size may vary significantly. Up to A0 is possible, making Evo a helpful tool even for plans that you would use during construction surveillance. You may choose either portrait or landscape as the orientation of your pages. Please pay attention. You have to determine page count so that Evo will then be preparing a proper output including all pages in the configuration that the user has requested. Now you see there are 11 pages and you now may print or convert to PDF all the pages you want to have. This may include also the table of content as well. You can see that on page 2. 
I hope that you'll now be able to enjoy some more possibilities of Dialog's Evil. And should we take a look at the details of the output the next time? I'm looking forward to see you again. Thank you for watching. <laughs>